you gain nothing by being scared. You don't gain anything by uh, being too cautious. You're not going to lose everything by trying something new. Even a Taylor here, and I want to welcome you to the Monday edition of Bizapalooza Chat. So, quick question for you: What's better, is it competition or collaboration? And when should your business do which and how? So, in today's Bizapalooza Chat podcast, we're going to discover the new world of coopetition, what it is, how it works, and how to make it work for you and your business. And as you know, we love to feature our community members on Visapalooza Chat. And today we've got AJ Borowski. Hi, AJ. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello. It's uh, great to be here. Great to see you in person. So the big thing I wanted to talk about is talk a little bit about this coopetition that you're really, really passionate about. What is it that you know for sure? How did you get interested in this? What is it? Yeah, it, it's really interesting. It's something that I had done without knowing that I was doing it at the time. Uh, and a couple of years ago, I heard the word for the first time, coopetition. And I thought, you know, I, I think I've experienced this. So what it is, it's when people who are normally competitors, you know, it could be on an individual basis, could be business, could be, you know, you and I are going for the same job, right? Um, but we decide to work together. Maybe, you know, one of us is going to get the job, the other one isn't, but we're going to work together to help each other along the, the way. And what I discovered when I heard the word, it clicked that I had done this years ago. And what I had done was, it was a first job out of college, and my background is in television, television news, uh, television editing. And my first job out of college, my first real job out of college, working at a television station, a small cable network, um, we all wanted to prove ourselves, all the other editors. And of course, we can do that by competing with each other and trying to crush the others, <laughs> or we could help each other out. Now, only one of us or, you know, is going to advance to the absolute top or get the next promotion, but we work together. So what we would do is create these video effects or, you know, um, complicated edits, and we would show it to our friends and see if they could one up us, if they do better. And they would. And then we'd have to do better than them, you know, and, and it created this cycle. Now, you know, one of the editors became the lead editor. One of them was promoted to a different type of editor. Uh, another one went on, you know, got another job someplace else. And we were all envious of that. Um, so we all got our own goal, but we helped each other along the way. And it was our most productive time ever. So I think that's really interesting because I think most of us have heard about collaboration and I have to admit, I didn't think about it the way you talked about it. How is what you did different from collaboration? So in my, in my mind, and, and you know, I think everyone's going to look at that and see a different word or a different way of describing it. Um, but in my mind, collaboration is and we were collaborating as well. So collaboration is we were making the network better, right? We were um, pushing each other to get better as individual editors, but that also made the network do well, right? So that was the collaboration part of it. The competition part was obviously we all wanted to get raises or better jobs or different jobs or promotions. And that's where the competition came in. So if all we were doing was collaborating. I don't think we would have gone as far, but we would have achieved the goal. You know, we would have made the network succeed, but I don't think we would have done it as fast. 
So do you feel like this is something that's been ignored in the world of small business? How could a small business owner or a group of small business owners use this coopetition to help themselves and perhaps their community? Yeah, it's as I, you know, progressed in, in both my career and my entrepreneurial um, self, um, just recently I sold a business, but I had uh, owned a bricks and mortar um, franchise, I was a franchisee for a massage and facial franchise. And so I had a bricks and mortar store and, you know, 30 employees or so. Um, and uh, I also pursued uh, financial planning for a while, um, something that I'm going to be doing again soon. Um, and what I saw in all of those areas is that there's a lot more comp um, uh, coopetition, collaboration than people think. They just have to look for it. And what I mean by that is uh, in financial planning or really any business, we go to conferences. Everyone at the conference is looking for the same thing. They want the clients to come to them, but they're going to talk to each other and they're going to network and they're going to say, you know what's worked for me? And they're going to tell them and then they're going to say, oh, God, I never thought of that. You know, have you thought about using it this way? And that's where the um, collaboration comes in among people who you look at it and you think, aren't they competitors? You know? And it's the same thing uh, with the massage business. I'm not going to go to a competing massage company and you know, say, hey, what are you guys doing? How can I do better? But if we were at a um, chamber of commerce meeting or something like that, yeah, I think we would talk a little bit. You know, we wouldn't give away trade secrets, but you would, you talk. And sometimes that's all you need, a little spark. I really like that idea. So um, I think you've kind of given us a few of these concrete examples of how small business owners can use coopetition. What do you think is missing? You know, I think small business owners complain quite a bit. I don't have enough customers. I don't have this. I don't have that. How could coopetition be the answer to their pain? So, you know, I totally get that because I've been there, you know, and, um, you know, I, I've looked at, um, experienced that. So, you know, one of the things uh, when I owned the spa that uh, I did was I tried to, it was in a, a mall, not, not a mall like, um, you know, an enclosed mall, but an open air mall, um, you know, some people call it strip mall, you know, that kind of thing, outdoor stores. Um, and, you know, we all wanted the customers to come in. And, you know, in a sense, we were, we were competitors, but, but we're not. It's not like there was all massage stores there, you know. Um, so it was really hard, though, to get the other stores to partner up on, on things. The ones that did saw their businesses increase, you know. So one of the ones that I partnered with was a running store. Yeah, it makes sense. The, the runners, they're going to be uh, want massage. Um, the people who are getting massage uh, might mention that they're runners. And I said, oh, you know about the store over here, right? Uh, what was a little disheartening is when other stores weren't willing to do that, you know? Um, and when stores came to me, like, you know, uh, an Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch or something like that, uh, across the mall came to me and said, you know, would you give a gift card for something? Absolutely. And a lot of times, you know, the other stores would say, no, I, I don't, I don't see how that's going to help me. And you know that, so you just have to be open for it. And that's what I think is missing. People aren't open to opportunity. So you just brought up something really, really critical. Let's go through Let's give small business owners like three to five or seven, however many you've got tips on how they can intentionally bring coopetition to have it work for them. Like one you just mentioned. Like, yeah. Kind of like you know, make a list maybe or something. I don't know. Right. Right. Um, yeah, I would definitely, you know, it's not something you can just do 
um, by the seat of your pants. You know, you have to think about this and you have to look at what are the commonalities between my business and their business, right? And it could be as simple as we're in the same mall. It could be that um, I shop there, <laughs> you know? That, that's enough for me to, to get that idea rolling. Um, but definitely sit down and, and what are the pros and the cons, right? What's the worst that could happen? You know, am I gonna lose anything from this relationship, right? And if you are, obviously, again, I, I wouldn't go as a, you know, massage business owner, I wouldn't go to a, another massage place and say, would you give me a gift card for, you know, no. But if they do something that I don't do, and I do something that they don't do, right? Um, maybe we can work on that. For instance, um, you know, we didn't do any kind of like hydro massage, right? They, they have these chairs or tables that you, you stay on. Um, but our clients would ask about that. So yeah, why not say, you know what? We don't do that. But here's someone who does. And if another massage place uh, didn't offer uh, facial services like we did, they could say, you know what, you know, we, we do massage here. We love it. That place does facials. You can go there for that. Now there's a risk there, but, and that's where you have to decide which is more important at that point, the competition or the cooperation. And, you know, it sometimes is going to come out that the competition's more important. So I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, the biggest tip is to sit down and think about it strategically. You know, that's the only way it's, you're going to make competition work. The other thing you mentioned that I think is really valuable is you talked about what are the different maybe ways that you could cooperate, like such as you can do gift cards, but there might be some other things that you've seen or tried. Got any ideas of those? Um, so... Can't really think of one right now, but you know, I just know that being part of the community uh, in any way that you possibly can uh, is is so worth it. And going to events where there are these different businesses, you know, that's when your mind will start working. My mind, and I, I don't know, maybe I'm I'm different or something, but my mind doesn't work so well at a desk. <laughs> Right? My mind works well when it's stimulated by other people. And I'm going to get out there and talk to as many people as I can. You know, that's why uh, when this opportunity comes along, I say, yeah, of course I want to do this. You know, uh, I hope it, it helps you and, and the, the chat and all of that. And it's going to help me as well. You know, so right there is just something uh, that you got to be open to those opportunities. So the first thing you mentioned is definitely sit down and have a strategic plan about how it's going to go. The second thing you mentioned is, uh, you know, to maybe brainstorm some original ideas of ways that you could cooperate. A gift card would be one, maybe a discount or something like that. Um, a third thing that you mentioned is that a small business owner could do, uh, maybe if you don't, you gotta have some ideas, so start with something. But I think this idea of going and talking to the other business owners who are maybe in your area or who are connected to you, that's another really good way. I actually have a client that gives me a fourth idea, which is uh, I'm not a client in personal experience too. So I have an online publication or, and I'm part of a group of other people who have an online property. Now we're all in different kinds of businesses, but we can use the same strategies and help each other. So I think I've come up with like four things, anything else that you want to bring up that that made you think of? Yeah. You know, what it did make me think of is just another example of how this, this works going back to, to my other industry television, you know, um, we own, and when I say we, you know, the, the, um, producers of the content, um, whether it's NBC, ABC, CBS, um, they own the, uh, production. Now you might watch a show on NBC, 
but the production is actually made by ABC, right? Um, they just didn't want to buy that show, right? It didn't fit in their programming, but it did fit on NBC or CBS. So they both have a vested interest in that show doing well, even though it's airing on NBC, was created by ABC, and might be competing in that time slot with another ABC show. So, you know, it's, it's this thing of, we don't, have, we don't have to have a loser to be a winner, you know? And that's something to, to think about as you're considering ways to cooperate, <laughs> if that's the word. <laughs> now, are there some businesses that you think maybe this is not a good strategy for? You know, I was thinking about that as I was preparing for this. Um, and I, I really don't think that there is, right? Um, it's a question of level. How much of, of the competition can they get into? You know, certainly there are some businesses that are very proprietary in, in what they do. They have something, so you don't want to, you're not going to give away your trade secrets. But there's, there's always something to be gained uh, out there. And it may be a small win, but there's something there. So I, I think every business could employ this. It's just to, to what level? You know, one of the things that we're going to be talking about on the chat is trends. And do you feel like the world is heading towards more of that co-opetition? Do you think we're heading into more of that type of a model and why? I, you know, I do. I think um, that, and I don't want to sound old, <laughs> but, you know, millennials um, coming up, I think they have a different way of approaching things. They, they put more information out there, right? And that alone is a way of, of cooperating in competition. Right, but just putting stuff out there. And I, and I think of, you know, I guess he's not really a millennial, but he speaks to them. I think of someone like Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, who uh, just puts tons of information out there, right? Um, and, you know, he gains a lot from doing that. Uh, even someone like uh, Elon Musk, they're, they're just very open in how they present the information about their businesses, about what they think, and they're not afraid to, to say it. And I think that, you know, fosters this. So I think it's growing. I think you're onto something, you know, I'm dating myself as well. Uh, one of the common challenges that I come across when I'm working with small businesses, especially manufacturers or technology businesses, they really, really struggle with putting a lot of information out there. They feel that if they put all that information out there, that their competition is going to get ahead of the game somehow. And you've just talked about how millennials and Gary Vaynerchuk, the new way of being is one of sharing. Uh, the question I have for you is, how can companies share information without actually jeopardizing their own intellectual property? Yeah, I think, I think it comes down to being general in what you share, right? You don't, you don't have to get specific, right? It's enough to, to say, you know, uh, you know, like Gary Vaynerchuk does uh, social media thing. I have never heard him once talk about a specific um, approach he takes. He's always very general. In, in that. And as, as long as you're general, that gets people thinking. And, you know, so you can share a lot in a general way without giving away anything like that. And by being open, people will see that and they will, they will gravitate to you because you're an open business, open person sharing this information, but you're not really losing anything, right? You're sharing uh, and not giving away the the store. <laughs> so what's the biggest benefit of coopetition for a small business today? I think um, freshness, staying fresh uh, in both your ideas, 
your execution of, of those ideas. Um, you know, we can have really good ideas, but if we're executing the same way we've always done, what, what good is that new idea? And if we're executing in unique ways, but we're doing the same things, in other words, no fresh ideas, but we're, we're just, you know, uh, executing them differently, that'll get us further, but, but combine those two. And so that's what I think is, is the biggest benefit of that. Well, AJ, I don't think I could have said it better myself. Thank you so much for being with us today. <laughs>